The 2018 Asian Games Indonesian, Pesta Olahraga Asia 2018, Asian Games 2018, officially known as the 18th Asian Games, 18 ASEAD and also known as Jakarta Palembang 2018, was a pan-Asian multi-sport event held from 18 August to 2 September 2018 in the Indonesian cities of Jakarta and Palembang. For the first time, the Asian Games were co-hosted in two cities, the Indonesian capital of Jakarta which is hosting the Games for the first time since 1962, and Palembang, the capital of the South Sumatra province. Events were held in and around the two cities, including venues in Bandung and some places in the provinces of West Java and Banten. The opening and closing ceremonies of the Games were held at Jalora Bung Karno Main Stadium in Jakarta. Also for the first time, esports and canoe polo were contested as demonstration sports. China led the medal tally for the tenth consecutive time. North Korea and South Korea march under the Korean unification flag at the opening ceremony and for the first time competed as a unified team in some events. They also won one and first gold medal as a unified team. Japanese swimmer Rikako Aiki was announced as the most valuable player MVP of the Games. There were six world, 18 Asian and 86 Asian Games records broken during the Games. <inaudible> Bidding process The Olympic Council of Asia OCA originally planned to hold these Games in 2019 rather than 2018, so that Asian Games would be held in the year immediately before the 2020 Summer Olympics instead of two years before. After they were awarded to Indonesia, the OCA backtracked on these plans and kept the Games in 2018, so that they will not interfere with the 2019 Indonesian general elections. Initial bidding Hanoi, Vietnam was originally selected to be the host after they won the bid against two other candidates, Surabaya and Dubai. They were awarded the winning bid on 8 November 2012, with 29 votes against Surabaya's 14 votes. Dubai pulled out at the last minute, instead announcing their intention to focus on future bids. The UAE's National Olympic Committee's vice president denied any pullout and claimed that Dubai did not apply for hosting 2019 Asian Games and had only considered doing so however in march 2014 there were some concerns about vietnam's ability to host these included concerns over whether the anticipated budget of 150 million dollars was realistic there were claims that the government would eventually spend over 300 million dollars in addition critics were concerned that several stadiums built in conjunction with 2003 southeast asian games had not been utilized since Former chairman of the Vietnam Olympic Committee Ha Quang Du also claimed that hosting the Asian Games would not boost tourism in Vietnam. On the 17th of April 2014, the Vietnamese Prime Minister Nguyen Tan Dung officially announced Hanoi's withdrawal from hosting, citing unpreparedness and economic recession as the main reasons for the withdrawal, saying, "They have left the country unable to afford the construction of facilities and venues." Many Vietnamese people supported the decision to withdraw. No penalty was imposed for the withdrawal. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Appointment of Jakarta and Palembang. After Hanoi's withdrawal, the OCA said that Indonesia, China, and the United Arab Emirates were major candidates under consideration to host. Indonesia was widely regarded as a favorite since Surabaya was the runner-up of the previous bid and willing to do so if selected. The Philippines and India expressed their interest about hosting the Games, but India failed to submit a late bid because it was unable to get an audience with Prime Minister Narendra Modi after being given an extended deadline by the OCA. On 5 May 2014, the OCA visited some Indonesian cities including Jakarta, Surabaya, Bandung, and Palembang. At this time Surabaya decided to drop their bid to host the Games and instead focus on hosting the already scheduled 2021 Asian Youth Games. On 25 July 2014, during a meeting in Kuwait City, the OCA appointed Jakarta as the host of the Games with Palembang as the supporting host. Jakarta was chosen because of its well-equipped sports facilities, adequate transportation networks, and other facilities such as hotels and lodgings for guests. 
On 20 September 2014, Indonesia signed the host city contract, and during the closing ceremony of 2014 Asian Games in Incheon, Indonesia was appointed symbolically by the OCA to host the next Games. <laughs> development and preparations Costs. <laughs> <laughs> By 2015, the central government had allocated a budget of 3 trillion Indonesian rupees $224 million to prepare for the Games, with regional administrations also expected to supply some part of the funding. By July 2018, the budget allocation for the Games had been reported to be 6.6 .6 trillion Indonesian rupees $450 million United States dollars including 869 billion Indonesian rupees $59 million from sponsorships. However, on 2 September 2018, Finance Minister of Indonesia disclosed that 8.2 trillion Indonesian rupees was financed by 2015-2018 state budget, which was used by INASGOC for all preparation, opening, organizing, and finalizing the implementation of the 2018 Asian Games. The total cost for arranging the Games is estimated about $3.2 billion, of which $2.4 billion being spent on infrastructure development associated with the Games. <laughs> Branding and design The initial logo for the 2018 Asian Games was first unveiled on 9 September 2015, in celebration of the country's National Sports Day. On 27 December 2015, the game's mascot draw was unveiled by Vice President Yusuf Kala. Both the emblem and mascot were a stylized rendition of the Sundarawasa, a rare species of bird in Indonesia. The designs were widely criticized for their outdated appearance, and draw was also criticized for having little connection to Indonesian culture and history with some Indonesians joking that the mascot looked more like a chicken than a Sundarawasa. Organizers ultimately withdrew the original emblem and mascot, and announced an open call for a new design. Out of 60 submissions, the new emblem—entitled, Energy of Asia—was unveiled on 28 July 2016. The new emblem was modeled upon the Jalora Bung Karno Stadium, and was intended to symbolize unity among Asian countries. Three new mascots were also unveiled, Bhin Bhin—a greater bird of paradise, a tongue, a bawa and deer, and kaka, a javan rhinoceros. They represent the eastern, central, and western regions of Indonesia, as well as strategy, speed and strength. The mascot's outfits reflect traditional textiles, bhin bhin wears a vest with azmat pattern details, a tongue wears a sarong with batik tumple patterns, and kaka wears a palambing songket with flower patterns. Their names were derived from the national motto of Indonesia, Binika Tungal Ika. The medal designs were unveiled in July 2018, featuring batik designs reflecting the unity and diversity of Indonesian and Asian culture. Marketing and promotion On 18 August 2017, simultaneous events were held at Jakarta's National Monument and Palembang's Bentang Kudo Besik to mark the one-year milestone before the Games. The event in Jakarta was attended by President Joko Widodo, and featured performances by Taeyeon and Kim Hyo Yeon of K-pop group Girls' Generation. Countdown clocks were unveiled at the Selamat Dating Monument and in front of Jalora Sriwijaya Stadium. Several fun run events had been held in some Asian countries since December 2017, starting with Lahore, Pakistan, which was the first city to organize the fun run event. In May 2018, there was held an event that marked the 100 day leading up to the opening of the game that featured the introduction of Asian Games Torch. The torch design is inspired by traditional weapons named Golik from Jakarta and Skin from Palembang, South Sumatra. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Official songs. On the 13th of July 2018, the Indonesia Asian Games Organizing Committee (INASGOC) released an official music album of the 2018 Asian Games titled Energy of Asia: Official Album of Asian Games 2018. The album consists of 13 songs and involves several cross-genre musical artists.
Topic: Torch Relay. The Torch Relay began at the Major Dhyan Chand National Stadium in New Delhi, host of the first Asian Games, on 15 July 2018. The flame was generated from a parabolic mirror directed straight at the sun. On 18 July 2018, a ceremony took place in Brahma Field by the 9th century Hindu temple of Prambanan near Yogyakarta, where the torches flame from India were fused together with an Indonesian natural eternal flame taken from M. Rapan, central Java. Subsequently, the Torch Relay concert were performed marking the start of Torch Relay throughout the country. The relay traveled through 54 cities in 18 provinces in Indonesia, including host cities. The relay covered a total distance of 18,000 kilometers, 11,000 miles. The relay finished on the 17th of August, the 73rd anniversary of the proclamation of Indonesian independence in the National Monument, Jakarta before being carried into the opening ceremony at Jalora Bung Karno Stadium the next day. Topic: <laughs> Venues and infrastructures. Topic: <laughs> Venues. <laughs> 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 For the games, some venues were built, some were renovated, and prepared across four provinces in Indonesia, Jakarta, South Sumatra, Banten, and West Java. The facilities for the Asian Games 2018 were located in the capital city of Jakarta and Palembang, South Sumatra, in four different sports clusters three in Jakarta and one in Palembang. However, 15 arenas for matches and 11 training arenas in West Java and Banten which shares border with Jakarta, were also used to support the games. In total, there were 80 venues for competitions and training prepared. The organization hopes to keep the cost down by using the existing sports facilities and infrastructure, including those venues built for the 2011 Southeast Asian Games, and after the test event of the 2018 Asian Games in February, INASGOC moved several sports that will be held in Jakarta International Expo to Jakarta Convention Center. Jakarta The Jalora Bung Karno Sports Complex in Jakarta hosted 13 events. The 56-year-old main stadium was refurbished for the Games, replacing its existing bleachers and seating with an all-seater design reducing capacity to 76,127, and adding new LED lighting and sound systems among other enhancements. The Jakarta International Velodrome at Rawamangan in East Jakarta was rebuilt, at a cost of $40 million for cycling, badminton, futsal, basketball, and wrestling. The Jakarta International Equestrian Park at Pulomas underwent a $30.8 million renovation, with a capacity of 1,100 stables, lodging for athletes, and other amenities. Palembang Yakabaring Sport City Complex at Palembang hosted for other sports events. Several plans were raised to add and improve the facilities in the complex, including a capacity upgrade of Jalora Sriwijaya Stadium from 36,000 to 60,000 seats. This was cancelled later and instead the capacity was decreased to 23,000 after the installment of individual seats to the entire stadium concrete tribunes along with pitch and other facilities improvements in the stadium. The new venue in Yakabaring Sports City was a 40-lane bowling alley which was completed in late May 2018. Eight additional tennis courts was built in the complex for the games. The length of canoeing and rowing venue in Yakabaring Lake was extended to 2,300 meters along with rowing facilities and a tribune which was built on the lake shore. Other existing venues which was used for games were also renovated, including Ranau Sports Hall as Sepik Takra venue. Athletes <laughs> Village. <laughs> 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 Athletes Village in Jakarta was built at Kemayoran on an area of 10 hectares land, which had 7,424 apartments in 10 towers. Total accommodation capacity of 22,272 at the village exceeded International Olympic Committee standards, which require Olympics hosts to provide rooms for at least 14,000 athletes. The Athletes Village inside the Yakabaring Sports City at Palembang housed 3,000 athletes and officials. Transport 
As part of the game's preparation, the construction of the Jakarta MRT and Jakarta LRT was accelerated, though neither were ready for general commercial operation at the time of the opening ceremonies. A line of Jakarta LRT connected the athlete's village at Kemayoran in central Jakarta to the velodrome at Rawamangan in east Jakarta. City bus operator Transjakarta added 416 buses to serve the officials, and also provide free rides on selected days during the Games. Palembang upgraded their transportation facilities ahead for the Games by building 25 km of the Palembang Light Rail Transit from Sultan Mahmud Bidaruddin II International Airport to Yakabaring Sports City, which opened for public use in July 2018. Sultan Mahmud Bidaruddin II International Airport is expanding its existing arrival and departure terminals to increase its capacity and also connecting the airport with the light rail transit LRT terminal by building a skybridge. Other transportation facilities such as toll roads, flyovers, and bridges will be also built in and around the city. The Games. Topic. Opening ceremony The opening ceremony started at 1900 Western Indonesian Time UTC on Saturday, 18 August 2018. Wishnutama, CEO of Indonesian TV network NET, was the creative director for the ceremony. The ceremony stage showcased a towering 26-metre-high mountain with a waterfall as its background, accompanied by Indonesian plants and flowers. North and South Korea delegates marched together under one unified flag of Korea, which marked the first time both countries did so in the Asian Games after 12 years. The Games was officially opened by the President of Indonesia, Joko Widodo. Sports In March 2017, the Olympic Council of Asia initially announced that the Games would feature 484 events in 42 sports, including the 28 permanent Olympic sports contested at the 2016 Summer Olympics, the five additional sports that will be contested at the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, as well as events in other non-Olympic sports. In April 2017, the OCA approved reductions in the program in response to cost concerns. Belt wrestling, cricket, karash, skateboarding, sambo, and surfing were dropped from the program, and there was to be a reduced number of competitions in bridge, jet ski, jiu-jitsu, paragliding, sport climbing, taekwondo, in particular, all non-Olympic weight classes, and wushu. These changes reduced the total number of events to 431. The final program was unveiled in September 2017, increasing it to 465 events in 40 disciplines as the second largest program in Asian Games history. Additional disciplines being introduced at the 2020 Summer Olympics were also added, including 3x3 basketball and BMX freestyle. For the first time in Asian Games history, esports and canoe polo were contested as demonstration sports in the Games. Six video game titles, most notably Pro Evolution Soccer 2018, were featured in the esports events. Demonstration Sports Esports Canoe Polo Topic. Participating National Olympic Committees All 45 members of the Olympic Council of Asia participated in the Games. North Korea and South Korea competed as a unified team in some events under the name Korea Corps, as they did at the 2018 Winter Olympics, making it the 46th participant of the Games. Both nations also marched together under one flag during the opening and closing ceremonies. Originally set to compete as independent Asian athletes, the Kuwaitis were allowed to compete under their own flags just two days before the opening ceremony. Below is a list of all the participating NOCs. The number of competitors per delegation is indicated in brackets. Number of athletes by national Olympic committees by highest to lowest. Topic: Calendar. Topic: Closing ceremony. The closing ceremony started at 1900 Western Indonesia time UTC on Sunday 2 September 2018 and ended at 21.25. 
In addition to local artists and a Chinese segment, the South Korean boy bands Super Junior and Icon, and Indian singer Siddharth Slathia performed in the ceremony. Mayor of Hangzhou Shu Liyi received the Games flag for the 2022 Games from Jakarta Governor Anis Baswedan and South Sumatra Governor Alex Nordan. Medal table China led the medal table for the tenth consecutive time. Korea claimed their first gold medal at the Games in the canoeing women's traditional boat race 500 meters event. A total of 37 NOCs won at least one medal, 29 NOCs won at least one gold medal and 9 NOCs failed to win any medal at the Games. The top 10 ranked NOCs at these Games are listed below. Asterisk host nation Indonesia. Topic: Concerns and controversies. Before the games, authorities in Indonesia were confident both host cities would be ready for the games, although have had only four years to prepare rather than the usual six after stepping in to fill the gap when Vietnam, whose city of Hanoi was originally chosen to host these games by the Olympic Council of Asia, dropped out in 2014, citing concerns over costs. On top of that, work in both host cities was delayed throughout 2015 because government funding was not immediately available, various concerns from traffic congestion problems, series of terror attacks, which local police claimed as a pre-Asian Games crackdown on terror suspects and petty street criminals, and already provoked Indonesian fans at the venue, Jakarta struggled with air pollution and river pollution problems. River pollution revealed where authorities covered a foul-smelling river near the athlete's village with black nylon mesh over fears it will be an eyesore at the showpiece event. Governor of Jakarta at that time, and the Indonesian Environment and Forestry Ministry quickly relieved the issues by various solutions. A doping case from a Turkmenistan wrestler was recorded, which put the sport's existence for future games in jeopardy. See also 2018 Asian Para Games 2018 Winter Olympics Notes <laughs> <laughs>